this sunny Joe with Xinhua in China's Chengdu. I'm now in the village, the 31st Fizzle World University Games Village. It's the home for global athletes during the event. Today I'm going to explore how the village functions with smart and green technologies. Are you interested? Follow me. The village, which opened on Saturday, is on the campus of Chengdu University, covering an area about 800,000 square meters. It comprises 10 apartment buildings converted from student dormitories and can accommodate up to 11,000 people. Held in midsummer, the Games faces an extra challenge of keeping the village cool while meeting its stringent energy saving goals. The Chengdu University greatly economizes on energy. This place is called Cool Alley or the Ventry Tube, which can help the building refresh air and lower the temperature without air conditioning. We can sense the cool wind. The Cool Alley was inspired by traditional Chinese architecture. Instead of using air conditioning, it has a semi-open space that is wider at the ends and narrower in the middle. This design lets the wind blow through the alley, creating natural ventilation and cooling the people inside. In the scorching summer heat, the athletes and volunteers are safeguarded by smart technologies, even outdoors. Let's check it out. At this smart cooling station, we can get a special vest like this one, which can keep you cool for around two hours. The cooling vests are made of aerospace materials that can maintain a constant temperature of 23 degrees Celsius to ensure a more comfortable outdoor experience. The station has more surprises to offer. How about a coffee made by robots? Or a 3D printed mini-me? Just step into this booth, and the 360-degree camera will take over 800 images from different angles in 3 seconds to make a data model. Then, you can get a lifelike model like these. Athletes who celebrate their birthday during the games can get their own 3D printed model as a gift, and others can pay to experience the magic and create one for themselves. Outside the station, you can hop on a new energy-powered shuttle bus and tour the village. Now I'm on a shuttle bus, but with no driver. More than 2,300 new energy vehicles will serve the university to ensure green travel during the games. New energy vehicles power all the transport in the village. They also make up 90% of the transport from the village to venues in the central urban area. 